It's Leilani again. I finally got my cleaning closet organized. So today I am working on cleaning up the kitchen. We had some company over the week and it kind of got pretty messy. I really like having everything in one place and now I can just go in there and grab a bin for whatever room I'm cleaning. I made a couple different bins, one for the bathroom, one for the kitchen, one for dusting, and then some have extras in it. I also have the it doesn't belong in here bucket that instead of running back and forth to put stuff away, I just throw everything that doesn't belong in the room in this bucket. And then when I'm all done cleaning, then I just carry the bucket to the different rooms and empty everything. As always, I start from one side of the room and I work my way around. I ordered these eight ounce spray bottles from Amazon. They came in a pack of six. I really like that they're small enough that they can hang on my side without being too heavy and it makes it easier to just hang them on the hooks and keep going as I clean. I have glass cleaner in one and the other one has an antibacterial disinfectant cleaner. I go around the room top to bottom in sections while I'm cleaning so that I don't miss any surfaces. If I were cleaning for work, I would be opening all the cupboards to look for trash or food and things like that. But since I'm at home, I don't have to open all the drawers and look for everything. You'll notice later in the video, I check my utensil drawer. I always do that because for some reason it always ends up with crumbs in it and I really am not sure why, but I can't stand that when it gets dirty. Also, my kids unload the dishwasher every day, so they end up putting everything in the wrong drawers so I always have to go through and reorganize and put things in the right drawers but at least I don't have to unload the dishwasher so I have no complaints about that. I do this clean this type of clean at least once a week and I like doing it this way because as I'm going I can look and see if there's spots on the wall or anything stuck to the wall we have our juicer right there and I use it right there and sometimes things will splatter. I've been looking around to find different stools for the bar area, but I have yet to find anything I like. But soon in an upcoming video, I sure, I'm sure you'll see new bar stools. I'm obsessed with dusting baseboards. I feel like nothing feels clean uh, if the baseboards have dust and stuff on it. So I always walk around dusting the baseboards.
there's so much bacteria that builds up in the sink and around the sink so I always use soft scrub with bleach to get that cleaned up and disinfected. up under there and it can get pretty nasty uh, the filter we pull out and throw in the dishwasher when we clean the kitchen after dinner each night here I'm just using glass stove top cleaner and a razor blade to get any burnt on grime off of the glass stove <laughs> I do the glass top before I do the back part of the stove because if I do the back part first, the cleaner is just going to splash back onto the back part and I don't like to have to re-wipe things more than once, so I do it this way. As I go around the room cleaning by the cupboards, I use my little broom to get everything from under the lip of the counter because it's just quicker when I sweep and I don't have to sit and try to use that big broom to pull out little tiny crumbs. The fridge is wiped out every time we go grocery shopping, so I don't have to pull everything out to clean it every time. I only do that when I go grocery shopping. Right here, I'm just trying to get any spills or anything that might be stuck on. Thank you. 
I'm trying out a new mop here. I just ordered this off Amazon. It has a really thick pad that holds a lot of water. And I just wanted to see if it would work by just spraying, get the mop wet and then spraying the floor and cleaning it. And it worked out pretty well, but I don't think it would be something that I would do all the time. I know a lot of people do the spray and wipe method and it works for them and that's great. But for me, I feel like you have to rinse your mop head in a bucket of water to get the dirt out. Otherwise you're just rubbing the dirt all over the floor. So while this was an easy, quick, clean i don't feel like it did as good of a job as it would doing a normal mopping so now that i'm done i'm just going to go around and empty my it doesn't belong here bucket it took a total of about 25 minutes to clean the whole kitchen thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit the subscribe button